Good morning, fish heads. Welcome to the show. It's you're going to get this in the split version. So I'm doing some pieces now. I've got a bunch of stuff going on over on the spray bench that I want to show you guys as well. And I've been showing you guys a ton of updates. So I'm just going to do like one or two this week. And then I've got a spray session coming up. So that's exciting. The spray session is going to be this guy right here. Super, super stoked. That's Monday Hackett's um he's in the lineup for this week to get painted i was going to do it saturday but you all convinced me actually we took a vote and you overwhelmingly decided that yesterday i was going to go fishing i did thank you um fresh air beautiful day it was about 65 degrees i caught a lot of trout some really small i didn't catch anything sizable in small mouths yesterday i did fish a couple of my own baits i did a little bit of testing I swam and probably not enough on camera. I'll do I'll do some specifically on camera for you guys. The clownfish that I recently painted, um, I did a good bit of swimming with it yesterday in some deeper spots just because I wanted to see how it how it was moving and it's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. So I am extremely happy with how that turned out. I'm really really humbled and excited that I got it. Um, so Sergeant, thank you again, again. Thank you for building it and for sending it my way. It's a phenomenal bait and I can't wait to unleash it on you guys. Um, so we've got a couple of pieces right now that we're going to show off and it is part of a three piece order. This is not one of them. This I actually painted for myself, which I never do, but I really love my wintergreen sunfish pattern so I kind of tricked it out a little bit extra I added some detailing into the pectoral fin I did my normal stenciling and these are the creature feature stencils from anarchy stencils in UK so shout out to him some love for that because he sent me a, a pack uh, earlier this year like January I think I got them so really really happy with how these are coming out and on the river to seas um, I showed you on Facebook, but I'm going to flash a picture of it right now, how you can tell the real ones from the not real ones. Obviously, anybody could put a stamp on anything. Um, I don't know who would go to all the trouble, but you can see on the bottom that it's got River to Sea on it. And then when you pull the eyes off, which I normally don't do, but if you do pull the eyes off, I did on this particular bait, there is uh, an R on one side and an S on the other. So on the left side, you've got the R. On the right side, you got the S. It stands for River to Sea. It is a mold press, and it's in the eyes, and it's raised. Um, so that's a, a telltale sign. A lot of people ask how I, um, how I clear coat these. I brush the tail. Always, always, I brush the tail. And then I brush uh, probably about this much, maybe like half an inch or so down. And then on these, they can be dipped. So I'll put a little drip holder on here and I'll dunk it down into the clear coat, um, not up to the moving parts. You wanna leave those free and clear so that once you're done and you have that beautiful KBS shine, if you guys are using something else, then the same applies. Um, if you guys are using BSI or Teuton or, or any other, the like the DevCon type stuff, you brush it on anyway, so all of it gets brushed. But if you are dipping, if you're using like Alumilite or any kind of UV resin, you can dip, um, but don't dip the entire thing because what will happen is you'll get them gummed up and the internal parts won't work and you will have ruined a bait. So always, if there's moving parts or you've got jointed stuff going on with your bait, brush. Um, and then if you have a solid body, just like a small one, like the river to seas are fairly easy to do. I don't know why. A lot of people don't like to um, do whopper ploppers. They don't like to paint them. I've never minded it. It's just a few extra steps and you got to tape off some moving parts and no big deal. But anyways, there you have it on that. I've got a three piece. Here are two of them. Um, this is, I get a, a, a lot of requests. It's, this is going to be the year of the swim bait for sure. This is definitely going to be the year of the swim bait. I've uh, been doing these um, pretty fast and furious. These two are for Davis Harlow. Thank you so much for um, sending these my way. These are Buca, Mike Buca Bull Rats. Um, one he wanted in a natural rat pattern, which we have given him. This is like the third or fourth rat that I've done from the Buca Rats. And no, I do not paint 
the uh, the bill on these. It's almost like a wake rat. But there is your brown bloody on the inside for this one. And some black eyes with a little bit of red. And then we did almost like a nuclear radioactive with those super red eyes, like an albino. He wanted one in a ghost pearl. So we did that for him. And I've got on the internal a little bit of hot fluorescent magenta. And that and super, super pearled up. Lots of flash and pop on these. And it's just a white base with the black overspray for the fur. And then when you do coat these folks, if you're just getting into swim baits, don't coat the tail on these, leave them be. And then I got a lot of compliments on this one. Bring that up onto the screen now. This is Davis's bullgill. It's a Mike Buca bullgill. And I'm really excited with how this turned out. It's that classic bluegill, uh, yellowish, purplish brown. But I was really able to give it a pattern that I'm happy with. Uh, I like doing match the hatch. This is a, almost like a breeding gill. And real happy with how the blending and layering came out on this one. So the rest of what we have to show you guys is going to be in the next part of this. And away we go. On to the second half of this journey. So I've got a couple more pieces to show you, but I wanted to start out with the match. So I get asked to color match quite often, and this particular guy was the request for this build um, to be transferred onto, this is not a pre-wrap. In fact, it almost looks like somebody custom did this based on a pattern from a previous yeah, I'm not even, to be honest, I'm not even sure that this is a true wiggle wart. It's similar, but I can see some splatter. Usually wiggle warts don't have, they have a little bit more of a raised eye. Yeah, so again, um, this was the match that I was asked to do. It had been successful for this angler. So we put them on the rock crawlers. He asked for just a little bit lighter of a shade in the brown. So that's a, it's a root beer, a black magenta, and a burnt orange on top. And one of the cool things about the Wicked line of detail inks and paints is that they normally have quite a bit of glitter in them. So it's got some shine and pop to it, fading down into a root beer brown. And then the belly is that fluorescent fluorescent bright and he said that that was key that was important so we made quite a bit of it for him and this is on a spro i don't do the knockoffs for the rock crawlers they they're light plastic everything that i've seen that's come out of china that's not a spro um, the plastic is much lighter it doesn't swim the same bills the bills don't hold up um, just a lot of things that dissuade me from using the blanks but this is a spro um, and he also he wasn't sure if I would be able to do the yellow eyes but of course sure we can uh, all that is is just laying down a stencil and then spraying white primer and then spraying that golden this is the wicked golden for the eye so we were able to get that in there for him he asked for him on these and he also asked for him on and of course this has got more real estate to put a little brown the um, similar to the wiggle warts 
the uh, rock crawlers have a very rounded body. And then this is just my own stencil cut out also on that, which I used across all six for him. And then on these, it is those eyes that are yellow because these Norman deep ends, I think it's a deep end, but it's a Norman, um, they use the two-dimensional eyes and those get stuck on prior to clear coating. So they have that layer on them as well. You can see the bills are beautiful, super clean, and just a good color match. This is a fantastic color match. Love doing that for them. So we got six of those in that color to match the wart. And it's just, it's a very traditional wart. Um, it is a good pattern. It's a great pattern. So it's going to catch them for sure, especially in my neck of the woods. So there we have it, that brown fade. And then he also saw a peacock cichlid, peacock bass that I had done on some square bills and wanted a color match for that as well. So we gave him three of those. Same concept, just a white primer and red stencil over the existing Spro eye. Didn't yank the eyes. Actually, on Spro's, very difficult to get the eyes off. You end up doing more damage. And I know I preach that a lot. But if you can leave the eye in place and not harm the bait, uh, that's my recommendation. And then there's a lot you can do with paint. And most of you guys know that. I trust that most of you guys are comprehensive of that. So we just put that... Now on Peacock Bass, it's usually a three bar. I gave him an extra bar on this um, just for the sake of being cool because I think he wants more like the perch pattern because this will resemble a, a perch and there are perch in my neck of the woods even though they're not very frequently caught. Um, this got this, it's all pearl colors on this and the Wicked de Detail Moss Green. And then just some modeling with a creature feature from uh, Anarchy Stencils UK. So thank you, Brian. Uh, I'm using the snot out of those because it's something that it's useful to me. It's something that fits my style. That and Russ Allen's fin wheel is some, probably something that I use constantly. So this is, you guys saw some square bills of this. And that spring crawl that I've been seeing real heavy and just really loving how these are coming out. More of that UK creature feature stencil. We got a couple of those. For my walleye guys in New York, going out to Don. So there we have it. That is all the news that's fit to print today. Thanks for hanging out. Man, these are just smoking. I love this pattern. I love it. I like doing color matches, and I love doing stuff that I like repeating stuff because people like the patterns, um, my original patterns. But I love doing color matches, too. That's all the news that's fit to print. we got to get these out the door this morning. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers. Happy casting.